Let's jump into number three, shall we? Absolutely. Number three, prices continue to appreciate in value. Do we think that's going to continue? I definitely think that's going to continue. And again, it goes back to the stats that you presented just a few moments ago, Lane. Again, supply and demand, Economics 101, as long as there is still a greater demand than there is supply, that would push prices upwards. It's simple as that in my mind and from, from what we see out there. I'd like your take on that as well. But to me, it's just really down to the basics from what I've seen year over year over the last several decades. Yeah. Yeah. So economics 101, we want to look at the difference between supply and demand. Right now, we're grossly undersupplied. And if we do have a little bit of an uptick in supply, the real estate market can actually handle it. Like I said, even if we double overnight, we're still going to be considered a neutral market. It's not going to be a buyer's market or anything like that yet, but it's also not going to be a seller's market. So we can handle a, a little bit of an increase in inventory. But if inventory remains low and interest rates remain low and demand stays strong, the prices are going to continue to appreciate in value and at a pretty good rate. So what is going to happen? And where can we see possibly see an increase in inventory? And do we see a, a possible increase in inventory? One people, some some uh, forecasters might think it could come from all the homes that are currently in forbearance. And so, in previous videos, if you go back to some of our forbearance videos, we might we might have shown you that might not be the case. Original forecast for forbearance is we're supposed to be thirty percent of homes were going to be put into forbearance. That ended up being close to ten, and it's currently now dropped down to about five percent. We're even. A quarter of those people that have their homes in forbearance are still current on their payments. And there's about 172,000 homes total uh, with less than 10% equity that have missed more than three payments. So in the grand scheme of things on a national level, that's actually not that much. And more than 90% of Americans that currently hold mortgages have equity above 10%. So if they do need to sell, it's not gonna be a foreclosure most likely because they have equity in the home. They're probably gonna be able to sell comfortably and there might be a little bit of an increase there, but I don't see increase doubling overnight or I don't or, or um, down the road here, at least in the near future. I think if anything, demand is gonna stay strong because of the low interest rates. Inventory is gonna stay strong. A lot of people, another reason why people might, might not be selling is they're refinancing their home, not to sell, but to stay. They might be using some of that extra equity equity to improve their home with a kitchen upgrade or bathroom update to stay, not to sell. And that might not help inventory either. Very, very good point, Lane. Those are, those are all very, very valid points. And again, it's good that we're just hitting this broad, broad spectrum of all the different possibilities that could happen out there and using some of our forensic data of what we've seen in the past. But our goal here is just to create realistic expectations moving forward, because we have people, of course, that have made decisions based on what they think will happen. And it's kind of like one of our gurus, uh, Mike Cunningham at Wells Fargo tells me, he says, you know, he's, he's our stock advisor. And he says, you know, people try to time the stock market all the time. And even Warren Buffett has said this as well. And it sticks with me is those that try to time the market generally are not going to come out ahead. And I've seen over the past that people that try to time the real estate market have met the same fate for the most part. Again, I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not going to tell anyone what to do or not do. Lane and I just want to supply the facts as we see them today and how they um, have impacted the past and how they might foretell the future just a little bit. And hopefully that's, this is really framing that. I hope so.